Hello everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to plan in my Erin Condren Life Planner using this homemade kit for May 17th through the 23rd. October 2022 lines up date-wise with May 2021, and so in order for me to be able to dive right in and use my brand new life planner, I have moved the pages that I won't need from the back of my 18-month brand new life planner up to the front because I only use my life planner for 12 months, then I get a new one. So I am going to cover up the October stuff and substitute it with May stuff with this homemade kit that I made on my Silhouette Studio software. This is a freebie for members of my Facebook group, um, except not with the items that have Gen Plans font on them because I only have a single user license on that. But everything else um, I have shared in a PDF. If you want to get this and cut out with scissors, um, just head over to my Facebook group. It's called Plan Sarah Plans Planner Circle. Make sure you answer all three of the questions before you click Submit to join that group. You would print this out and add your own cut lines if you want to use your Cricut or your Silhouette. Don't know how to use a Cricut, but I know in my Silhouette, I can import PDFs and add my own cut lines. You might have to get rid of the little registration marks and uh, cover them up and then add your own registration marks if you're using this in a silhouette. Not really sure, but I'm offering the PDF as a freebie. So let's get started. I've included the date cover so that we have um, totally different color scheme, not this October orange scheme, but a spring combo of my favorite two colors that complement each other, pink and green. And I kind of went toward the mint green instead of the yellowy green. I love these colors. They remind me so much of Southern Hospitality, Lemonade, um, the Greenbrier Resort, which I almost never go to, but it's this lovely uh, Southern Resort. It is in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, and it's only about two hours away from me two and a half hours away from me, perhaps. I will leave the pages in my binder for the time being. You might notice if you have a really sharp eye that there are a few oddities in my life planner. That's because I have one of the PR editions and that was so that I could review the life planner ahead of the launch. So I have 6 p.m. and 6 p.m. I also have a different font up here on a couple of times. I think one and 2 p.m. have a different font. To me, that's no biggie. I did not have to pay for this life planner, and um, I'm sure the folks at Erin Condrum would send me another one, but I'm, I'm fine with this. And if you order one, you will not have these misprints. They've already fixed that. This was an early copy. And I also have been trying out the A5 weekly planner in the, eight, in the agenda not the coiled A5, but the Agenda A5. And I am somewhat coming to a decision about how I want to use that planner. I don't want to give up my hourly binder. I've decided that. I don't want to give that up. I love my hourly binder. So the A5 Agenda will not take the place of that in my case, but I love it so much I want to use it in some way. And I'm thinking that the horizontal layout that is your only weekly option in the A5 agenda is a terrific to-do list format. And I may just use this for my weekly planning and scheduling and then use the A5 for my weekly to-dos and highlights of the week. Something that I can take on the go, in other words. I love stripes and florals together. I love pink and green together. To me, these are just happy combinations. And if you use this kit in a different way, I would love to see pictures, so please tag me if you do. And um, share in my Facebook group or on Instagram somewhere. Just tag me so that I will be sure to see it. Right now when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking of little cookies, lemonade, iced tea, 
white wicker, a swing on the front porch. I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, and then let's put this guy up here. That's where I put my lesson number. And this is going to be our last week of regular piano lessons here. Lesson number 18. And then there will be a week where I just get the recital ready. It's going to be a YouTube recital. And there are so many little tasks involved with this end of the year recital. I have two seniors graduating and I do a special gift for them. And that is very time consuming and worth it. But I have a lot of work to do in this last couple of weeks. So I'll be pretty busy. Over here on the sidebar, a lot of people do their to-dos, of course. I have really grown to love putting my memory verse here. Now this is just a gingham box. I like this, but I might end up putting some deco on here. I believe I sized it so that it would go all the way to the bottom of the page. But we'll see if I did this right. The width is right. Yeah, that's right, it goes to the bottom of the page. And then lesson number 18, I didn't put this in the kit because it has the Gen Plans font in it. You can buy the Gen Plans font on Etsy, but I don't have a commercial license for it, so I did not include that in the kit. But lesson 18 will go right there. And these little washi strips, if you get the kit, um, this will just look like a blob of green, but I put cut lines in there to make washi strips for piano lessons. So that will go on Tuesday through Friday. I'm trying to get away from the single monochromatic look that I tend to design with when I make my own sticker kits. I'm trying to use more than one color. <laughs> I kind of uh, gravitate toward making everything purple or everything pink, and so this time I tried to put a little variety, although this is definitely a theme. I get so many comments about how cute these piano stickers are. They are from Saray Plans on Etsy. If you want to get them, make sure you get my discount by typing in the code Sarah20, Sarah with an H, 20, and that will get you 20% off at her shop. And if I use any Mama Gloria stickers, I'll remind you about the very same thing. I have the exact same discount code at Mama Gloria shop. So if you go on Etsy and shop Mama Gloria or Saray, make sure you use Sarah20 at your checkout to get 20% off. And I also made some piano, well, I don't really call it script if it's not cursive, but for lack of a better term, piano script stickers to go with this. My memory verse will be right over here. Mom and I are going to have a pedicure on Friday. So Friday is one of my mom days. I help my mom with a few things three days a week. And 
we have decided to make a monthly pedicure, something that we plan on. I don't know if I like this, but let's try it. Yeah, that's fine. Then I can write in there. And then Wednesday, we're going to have lunch and our visit. And Monday, oh, here's what's gonna happen Monday. She called a while ago, this is Saturday. She called to let me know that her Erin Condren order has arrived. And I already posted pictures of what is in her order, but she got the blush agenda in the weekly horizontal flora pattern and some matching notepads to put in the back of the agenda, the flora pen, and some washi tape, and then of course the two freebies. So she is signed up to be an insider, so she got the little glitter pouch, and she got, here's the glitter pouch. She got the glitter pouch, and she got the freebie pen, which is this one. I think maybe they're still offering this. I think these have run out. But I think if, while supplies last, when you order a life planner, you will get one of these mid-century circles pens. So she got that and she got the Flora pen also and the Flora washi tape duo and the Flora sticky notes. So I can't wait to see all of that. I did place an order for something and I'm going to just hold off until it gets here to tell you what I ordered. Okay, so we have church on Sunday and I think this one would look nice. I'm just into the offset thing here with my text scripper, uh, <laughs> my text scrippers. I met my script stickers, and I think I was trying to say text stickers, but we'll just call it text scrippers. And then this is for something, but I forget what. So let's see what we're missing. Oh, I know I have um, my friend my friend's memorial service here and I do have a friend who passed away from cancer and we are going to celebrate her life on Saturday it's not really a funeral it's just going to be a celebration of her life the seasonal surprise box comes out on Monday the 17th and look I've used up my entire kit so now we're going to dig into my other stickers or use I think dual tip markers would be nice the great thing about the binder is taking out the pages, and that is true for the A5 agenda as well. It's so much easier to write on the pages when you don't have the rings or the coil up against your hand, so I really like to take the pages out. I wanted to also point out, look at these perfect holes. The new binder pages are punched with the perfect size holes. These are quarter inch holes, and that's exactly what we've been asking for since the binder came out as a new product. and. If you're wondering why I wanted to use October for my May pages, it's because last year when I first got my binder, the holes were not large enough, took the whole stack to a print shop, had them punched or drilled is what they call it, and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I've been dealing with some really weird looking holes for the last year. So I was ready to move on to perfect holes, um, and that's why I'm using October. Also, I just like the new stuff. So even though it really doesn't look much different than last year's, I like new stuff. All right, so let's use a black dual tip marker and write in some things. I think I'll start with my memory verse. It's a long one, and I hope I can fit it all over here on the sidebar. But it's Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 and 18. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, 
Though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Isn't a dual tip marker awesome? This has become really a one of my favorite things. I get away from it sometimes and just use my gel pen, but it's so easy. I'm not even much of a letterer. It's so easy to just use the bold tip to kind of make one of your words pop and then put the details in with a fine tip. I love these. So by the way, I will link everything that I'm using in the video description if you're new to planning and you are interested in taking a look at some of the things I use. All right, Mama Gloria has an icon for just about anything you could want, and I will be doing laundry on Monday. So let's choose one of these. I never ironed, so we won't choose that one. Although, my mom did give me an iron. Um, I don't know where our original iron is because we did have an iron when we first were married and I used to iron things but um, not so much anymore. We have so many things that are wrinkle resistant anyway and we just don't need an iron but occasionally one comes in handy and I will write in some script there for laundry but I just want to go through here and use some icons because I know that I need to pay some bills. I think Wednesday, not Wednesday, Tuesday, I'm going to do some bills. And then on my home spa day, hang on here, I have the perfect thing. Well, let's use the home, but let's also get the hair color sticker and a cup of coffee or tea, whatever that is. It looks like coffee. Okay, so I am going to color my own hair that day. Let's, you know what? I think I'm just gonna use Home Spa and I'm gonna cut off this text. Is that perfect? Oh my goodness. It's exactly what I look like, except not as neat that and the shampoo and I'm going to cut off the text for that kind of perfect and then after we wash it we're going to blow dry it so where did that hair dryer go maybe we haven't come to it yet here it is we have hair appointment it's really a hair appointment with myself. And then my memory verse could use a Bible. I am almost out of my Bibles. church building. Actually, I could put a Bible and a church building in here. How about a crooked, a church that's on a hill <laughs> and a Bible that is bigger than the church. Nah, we'll just do the church building on the hill. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to straighten that. Here we are, and here's the little coffee cup, and there's a smudge right there, so the coffee cup is going to cover that, and I'm also going to bake a cake, so I think in my meal planner I have some baking stickers, 
sort of. I've got an oven mitt, I have a rolling pin, which I won't need, but I'm thinking the spoon and the little whisk in the oven mitt, so let's do that. I moved my little coffee cup up here so I could just spread those out. That looks really adorbs. So all of these are Mama Gloria Shop. These are Erin Condren, and they come from the meal planner sticker sheet that's in the back of the meal planner. And so not a lot of baking stickers, but still some cute things that kind of mean baking. And I might as well put the grocery cart over here on order groceries. I'm going to pick them up this day. I need to write that in. So a little car would be nice for pick up groceries. Let's not forget the little house on Home Spa. <laughs> So if there's one thing Thursday is, it is a stickered up day, but it's really cute. I'm happy with that. My niece's birthday is Monday, so let me pop her up here. Along with a hand-drawn birthday cake from Mama Gloria. This is a Design Lovely Studio printable, by the way, but I'm going to cover up that cake and add one that's a little more special. And then I want to remind myself to write my memory verse every day. So the little pencil icon will do that. And I'll just put one of these little green pencils at 6 a.m. every day to remind me, first thing, write your memory verse. And this one is longer. I will definitely need to write it to help me remember it. Saying it is fine also. Another great way is to sing it. If you can set something to music, you can memorize it. I've memorized all of Psalm 91 by setting it to music. And I don't know if I'd be able to do that without setting it to music. And then I'm going to use one of these seasonal surprise box weekends. They didn't say weekend. I just printed that on there. I'll put it right here. There we go. And then I want to use some of my Mama Gloria check boxes for Saturday and Sunday because I have some unknowns that day and I think just check boxes will be in order. I don't imagine I'll be finished with this until one o'clock or later, so I'm going to start my check boxes here. And this is a slice tool. You can use it with a ruler or you can just go rogue and freehand it carefully. The thing about Mama Gloria's check boxes that's so great is that they fit in the half hour lines just right. They fit in the daily duo just right. The seven by nine. They also fit in the horizontal A5 agenda. So these are perfect for those lines. I haven't seen the daily A5 yet, so I'm, I can't say about those, but maybe. And I do think it's cool to figure out what um, music I'm going to be playing the day before church. So. Generally, I get a text message sometime on Saturday, and I'll just use this header from PSP Designs and write music for tomorrow. And then we'll use there will be four hymns, so we'll use four of these.
Okay, friends, let's pray for the week ahead. And we'll start with a scripture from 1 John chapter 2, verse 12. Your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, as we begin this new week, we humbly and sincerely seek you as our guide, our protector, our merciful Savior. All of our strength comes from you. In your wisdom, we find light and truth. In your presence, we find joy and comfort. We don't know what traps may be laid for our feet. We don't know what sudden trials we may have to meet or what burdens we may have to bear during the coming week. Make us wise to see where temptation lies and make us strong to resist it. May we be brave and patient under trial, unselfish and cheerful as we bear burdens. Give us tender consciences that are quick to recognize sin. Breathe the spirit of fervent prayer and perfect trust into our hearts. Enable us to consider each other's needs. May we make it easier for someone to be strong and faithful by a helpful word and deed. May this week not pass until we have done some good in the master's name to whoever has need. Forgive all of our sins, Father, and enable us to forgive one another as Christ commanded us. We pray for a holier life through Jesus Christ, who gave himself so that we might become children of God through him. Grant these and all other blessings that you see we need to the glory of your most holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining me again this week. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I will post links in the video description for items that I discussed here. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.